okay guys how are you today i am going to demonstrate today an android very cheap tv box that i bought from aliexpress just only with 12 dollars 50 cents so what i am going to show to you this uh, tv box is very 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 cheap version so it has like rmb7 cpu and it's not even rmb8 it's rmb7 cpu and it has around like uh four they said like when i bought they said like it will be 16 gig but you know you cannot expect with just uh 12 over 12 dollars that they will give you 16 gig so i got around 12 gig ram now this device comes with android 10 os so the problem is as it is android 10 os it takes lots of cpu and ram and what happens uh, lots lots of people basically complain on the on the channel so not the channel really on this uh, aliexpress or like all of those chinese uh, websites that uh, the cpu is not really performing well it reboots uh, we know that like whenever uh, android cpu just goes around like 90 percent or 100 percent usually it reboots the system so i figured like it's basically like cpu uses and uh, i did try to fix this issue and i figured out at the end of the day you know the what's basically causing this issue was the overheating so whenever there is lots of load on the cpu like you are running kodi with hd resolution video streaming right like lots of high res video uh, lots of latest movie lots of if you even it says 4k right so i uh, also tried some 4k movies also it plays well so i number at the beginning when i was trying 4k movies it was rebooting so you can get like it does this h264 encoding decoding part in there in hardware <coughs> so uh, then what i did i fixed it how did i fix it so i basically controlled uh, the cpu overheating so i will show it to you how i uh, did control the cpu overheating i will also uh, give you one suggestion where to like uh, i basically did active active cooling and then passive cooling also inside so it's just 12.5 dollars uh, uh, 4k t android tv box and it will be amazed how much uh, uh, good uh, this device will uh, service you uh, let me show it to you right now there you go so what i did you can see this is a very pretty slick box it has like three usb in that side and then there is an uh, ssg card reader and then then uh, there is another usb there is like two audio jack and then hdmi lan and then the power 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 port all right that side doesn't have anything even this side doesn't have anything so i'll show you what's inside so you see those uh, feet are not uh, below those feet there are like screws hidden so you need to open it so you see this is glue so you need to be very careful because you need to put it inside again later on uh, okay there you go. i'm using these tools this is a plastic kind of tools i uh, clippers or so okay so now as those four covers are gone you can see there are like four pin uh, four screw in there uh, open those you need to use this kind of uh, screwdriver all right one two I already know what's inside because I opened it one time again before. So 
this is the motherboard and you can see i have this uh, passive cooling in there i added a one dollar uh, fan in there so i'll open it for you guys so that you can have a look so here this part is very interesting so you see this is basically the memory part i put i basically bought this uh, active uh, cpu cooler so this is basically the memory chipset so i basically put the um, this good uh, cpu cooler over this memory chipset with some uh, you know the cooling uh, paste and i also did this uh, board only come to just only one uh, cpu cooler uh, like uh, this thing so this is very cheap so I, I i tried to remove this thing but it was like uh, glued with the cpu behind this is a cpu behind this is just the memory it has like 256 gb of uh, memory in there and this one is already have an heat sink over there so but i just put my uh, i have this uh, uh, you, you know this uh, cooler uh, paste in my hand so i just put it in there i didn't buy the cpu i mean this heat sink i don't have i just have two so i put two one on the cpu one on the memory <coughs> okay so that's basically did the trick in here it's adjusting the i guess it's basically a, a adjusting the cpu and then ram heat in here or sorry the memory heat in here and then there is an interesting part i figured there were some plus and minus put in here probably this is for another capacitor or something but uh, they didn't put any capacitor in here to save the um, or maybe for some ports here so there you can see it is written plus and here it as it is plus and the other side is supposed to be negative right so this is positive and this is negative so i bought this one dollar uh, raspberry pi cooler it's a pi fan and then i basically put it in here and uh, now you have this active cooling in here and then you have this passive cooling <coughs> so that's it and then it started working uh, perfectly with uh, even in 4k resolution 30 fps uh, this android tv works works pretty well okay guys try it out